their maker's name stop. We will have order. Okay. I win. Let there be no further bloodshed in the lands meet. Further? Alistair's right to the throne is challenged. His challenger's honor is in doubt. In the past, such disputes were settled by duel. Will the lands meet agree? Yes, if it will avoid further bloodshed. But it must be fought according to tradition, by strength of arms only, in single combat until one party yields. Me or him? We'll accept the terms. Uh. Shit. <laughs> I only can pick one, huh? I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. Charles motherfucking Mahariel is gonna take Terran Logan down personally. It is you or me the men will follow. So, let us fight for it. Prepare yourself. God, I'm gonna fail. <laughs> fight! 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 I have a ton of potions, though. I'm ready for you, man. <laughs> what the hell's going on? I need to switch over to my swords. What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. First off. Boom. Turn that on. Let's zoom in. Yes. Now, mark a death. Below the belt. Backstab. I'm not doing backstabs on him. That's, that's okay, I guess. Well, fuck, man. Below the belt. Oh, God. Heal. Heal! Fucking A. Stun. I'm not getting backstabs, but I'm going for him anyway. Heal again. I got a ton. I got a ton. I need a ton. Fuck. You kidding me? That's ridiculous. Wh how far back is this gonna go? I knew I wasn't gonna be able to do it. For okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. But Alistair's gonna fight his own damn battle. You know, I could have said that. Then let us test the metal of our would-be king. Prepare yourself. He can totally take care of this by himself, and to be honest, in a one-on-one -on -one fight, Charles isn't very good. He's the sneaky kind of powerful. Not, not full frontal. That's how it works. And I think Alistair Sten's probably going to be my best shot here. I still have a ton of potions for them. I think like eight or ten. I should be good. I should. Yeah, I couldn't heal fast enough last time. That was the problem. Just too much damage being done, so let's go for my bulkiest defender. Why does that keep happening? Okay. So. Rally apparently I can't turn on again. So. War cry please. Hit him. Shield bash. We're doing okay here. Alistair's doing just fine. Holy crap, hit him. Stop trying to hit him and hit him. Okay, what the fuck? Go for a rally of your own. Assault. Apparently I have glitched low game. I'm calling this a victory. Since he's just letting us attack him. God, you miss so much. Oh, there we go. Get a critical on him. I don't want to knock him down. I'm scared. Go for another assault. 
I did pretty good there. All right, so I glitched my way to victory with Alistair. I am willing to call that a, a full-on victory. As if nothing bad happened here. And come on, finish him. There were two of them. There is some of Marek in you after all. Good. He kicked your ass. Forget Marek. This is for Duncan. Who? Oh, that's right. Duncan! The best character in the game. <laughs> Why'd he die so early? Why? And down goes Logan. It's about damn time. So it is decided. Alistair will take his father's throne. Oh fuck, you better give me my Wait, shit what? back. No. When did this get decided? Nobody's decided that. Have they? He refuses the throne. Everyone here has heard him. I think it's clear then. He abdicates in favor of me. I hardly think you're the appropriate person to mediate this, Enora. Warden. Will you help us? Yes, I'll be your king. Uh... Crap. Um... <laughs> let me speak to Alistair. Strange. I feel like I'm back at the Abbey, trying not to get chosen last for the sparring teams. You always got chosen last, Alistair. I'm not asking the important question. Can I get my shit off of him? <laughs> well, is he still going to be in my party if I choose him? What do you think I should do? Fine. What's your opinion? You're asking me? Well, I guess your options are give the crown to the woman who double-crossed us, or give the crown to me. Thrilling, I know. Frankly, I, I think you should give her the throne. I've never wanted it. But it's up to you. Y you ready, man? Are there people who are ready for that sort of thing? But I guess if it comes down to it, I'll do my best. Mm. Oh, I think my stomach just twisted up in a knot or something. Yeah, he's not going to be the best for this at all. <laughs> uh, fine. Anora. Certainly. You're sort of a ruthless bitch. I prefer to think of it as having staunch determination. Was there a point you wanted to make? Not really. Do you expect me to support you after what you've done? No, I just wanted to say it. Oh, I'm glad that you can take time from deciding the fate of our nation for this. You <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Um, who do you think I should choose? Warden, there's no doubt on this subject. Alistair would be a disastrous king. I can lead for Eldon. I have proven this. Why are you better? Surely that's not a serious question. Not really. I have been the ruler of this nation in all but name for the last five years. I can lead for Eldon. Alistair can't. If you give him the crown, then you've only brought us a brief pause in the Civil War. It will resume again at the first opportunity, and it won't end until a new dynasty holds power. She's probably right. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm ready to choose. So I can either choose the, the, the dumbass king that's going to like me, or the person that's probably going to be the effective ruler that hates me. As the arbiter of this dispute, Sorry what is your that. decision? Who will lead for Elden? Ha! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, yes! I believe Alistair and Adora should marry and rule jointly. What? This is a joke, right? Right? Why aren't you laughing? It will never happen. Not even if the Maker himself appeared in this room and commanded it. Uh -oh. What she said. Total bitch. Ah. <sighs> Onora stays on the throne. Thank you, Warden. You were wise not to disrupt Ferelden's governance any further in a time of such crisis. My first act as Queen must be to insist on receiving Alice's oath before all the lands meet, to relinquish all claim to the throne for himself and his heirs. Oh, I never wanted it. I mean, yes, of course. Happily, in fact. And now, Lords and Ladies of Ferelden, there is still a blight to defeat and armies to gather. And I appoint this man to lead us in both. We will not allow this land to be further threatened by the Archdemon. Gather your forces and await the Warden's command. Nice. On the morrow, we shall begin our struggle against the greatest threat Ferelden has ever faced. And we shall triumph over it, for we are Ferelden. 
So, I pretty much picked her because Alistair has my stuff. And you're not getting away with my stuff. That's just how it works. So, whoever else is in charge can be in charge. I am not so stupid to put him in charge of anything. He's not even in charge of Reptar when I'm gone. So it's done. My father is dead. He deserved it. I never thought he would go so far. I never thought it would end like it did. I did. Such a waste. Thanks for betraying me, by the way. I was trying to keep my father from making an even greater mistake. I failed. And I apologize. But I had to try. Al Eamon has left for Redcliffe. And tells me that our armies have almost fully gathered there. I will be heading there myself. Redcliffe's like Bring the your base? companions and join us at Redcliffe Castle as soon as you are able. You have united for Elden Warden. Now we face the blight. Hooray! It is about damn time that I united fucking everybody. I am a rabble rouser, apparently. Uh, let's get that level up then. Fine. It's dexterity, willpower, and cunning. Ooh. Improved coercion. Yeah. Sounds good to me. I'm not using anything else. Yeah, I'm not stealing off of anyone. Yeah, coercion. There we go. Ooh, I get two from here. Lacerate. It's rolled with blade moves and additional damage. Okay, that's pretty cool. Is there anything else I can do here? Duelist, upset balance. That's not that great. I could probably start working on dual weapon a little bit here. I do use it from time to time. That's why I was so bad in that last fucking one-on-one. -on -one. Um, what's this, though? Oh, yeah, that's not going to be that good. Yeah, this is, this is all backstab stuff, so... I don't know. Knack for simply not being there when the enemy attacks receiving a bonus to defense. What? Uh, I'm so confused. Uh, <laughs> fine. Dual weapon training. And dual weapon finesse. That sounds good. Sounds better than dual striking, because that's a mode. And then dual weapon sweep isn't going to do anything for me. Alright. Shadow. I, I don't know what I'm... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing to get this, and I can't, like, look them up or anything. So, hooray, we did it. Now, we can leave? We can leave. And, yes, yes, he still has my stuff. You better come with me. You kind of, you know, I, I hate to admit it, but I kind of need you, Alistair. I don't have anybody better. So I don't need you. I just haven't found a replacement yet. I'm still looking. Fucking Alistair. Wanting to be king. You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Seeing as we're in Denerim now, I'm wondering if we might be able to look someone up. You have a friend outside the Grey Wardens? I'm not talking about a friend, exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. A gay prostitute? The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret, after all. But, after I became a Grey Warden, I did some checking and, well, I found out she's still alive in Denerim. Have you contacted her? No. I thought about writing her, but I never did. And then we were called down to Ostagar and I never got the chance. Yeah, that sucks. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. Fine. Sure. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her and I never went to at least see her, I don't know if I could forgive myself. I can't her forgive you. Her name is Goldana. 
And I think she remarried, but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then... Well, it's worth a look. Wait, Goldana? Now I'm reminded of... Uh, the Fade. Remember when everybody was like under the, the demon's spell or whatever? He was hanging out with Goldana, so... Apparently... I'm doing this like way late or the game has scripted that he always knew what she looked like or something. I need to level him up. Let's take care of that. But I'm just confused by what is going on. What is this? Nothing that great. Threaten, disengage. That's pretty cool. See? Yeah, he's done with weapon and shield so we can start going through here. Disengage and perfect striking. And that's an activated thing. This is passive, so I'm going to head up through here. Okay, so... Where is Goldana? Is she going to appear on this? No. Of course not. Um, this is where we need to go now. But, like, there's still a few things that I want to take care of. Can I change my party? I can't change my party in here. Okay, so I have to go back inside because I'm pretty sure that Leliana, there's still a little bit more that I could do with Leliana's uh, in terms of the relationship and the romance and however you want to call it, trying to get her naked. Uh, I, I think I have to do a quest for her. So I, I, I need her in my party in order to get that done. Like, if I have these three in my party, let's go with people that I don't care about, but not the guy that I seriously don't care about. Because I'm pretty sure that I can do something. I don't know if I can sleep with Alistair now that I think about it. If I can, I might try. <laughs> Just for a comedy sake. No! Nothing! Nothing with Liliana right now! She didn't start a dialogue or nothing! That sucks. Alright, so that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. I've been Bala Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by people I did not have throughout this whole session. When we come back, though, I will have a few more things done. Hopefully I can figure out where those scrolls of Bannister and all that kind of stuff are. And I will have those completed. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.